Hello everybody, welcome back to uh, another episode of Happy Accidents. I'm uh, glad to be with you guys this week, because uh, it's spooky season, yay! Officially kicking off this uh, Halloween, well, for all these don't know that Halloween starts in September for most of us, so if you're a Halloween nut like myself, I got my pumpkin spice latte tonight. Oh, that's good. Keep me energized to this video. And uh, yeah. I'm uh th this is, this week I thought I'd kick it off by uh showing you guys how to do a, a good pumpkin drawing. So for all those who are uh good at drawing pumpkins or carving, <laughs> I hate to uh have a bad confession for you guys. I'm a s I suck at carving pumpkins. I don't know why and maybe I just I only get to carve them once a year, but I never have enough practice. But it's the one thing I just can never master. Even like I always just end up drawing a generic face and then it never really comes out right. I know, right? Shocker. You know, I can make jewelry or, you know, do all kinds of other art. I can build Legos and things like that. But pumpkin carving, I just never got the hang of it. So, but drawing is another thing. So, but anyway, let's get right down to it, you guys. Uh, let's see. I got my ad all set up. We're going to go with a sketch, um, sketchbook today. So let's get into it. I'm, I'm ready. And, uh... I'm just going to get right into it, guys. Um, we're going to go with the ink brush. So, yeah, uh, if you guys only want to be drawing a pumpkin, let's get, uh, get started. So, let's see what kind of pumpkin. Uh, what are we going to do? Let's go. What are you thinking, guys? A little round shape or do a little. Let's do a little interesting. Uh, so, we're going to start by drawing the pumpkin first. So, just to get that down, I'll show you guys a little neat little trick you can do to, you know, kind of get it going. So, let's. Uh, Always, I'm gonna draw something. Do something fun, guys. This is supposed to be fun. Just draw a little. We'll give it a little bit of wire on the bottom, and this guy's gonna be sitting on the grass, so don't worry about that. What's your favorite, guys, kind of thing to, pop, to carve as a pumpkin? Do you like to do the generic face, scary face? Do you like to do a cool design? You know. But the first thing I want you guys to do is draw, get the pumpkin shape that you want. You know, you want to do a typical... No, let's yell it down. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be drawing a whole scene for you guys, so... Don't worry about these. Supposed to be fun, guys. Remember, I'm just kind of drawing this spontaneously, guys. So all that—that's why I implore you guys to most of the time just draw something. And, you know, let it speak to you guys. I know it's kind of a cliche, but it's true because like I have things planned here. I have my references and things like that, but it never really, you know. I always have to draw a little bit. You know, get a little bit of your heart in there. Always. Draw the stem. We'll give it a cool stem. Remember, guys. You ever get to pick a pumpkin? Never grab it by the stem. Never, ever, ever. I, I'm sorry. This is not the stream for you. This is not the channel for you. If you're the kind of animal that grabs a pumpkin by the stem, I'm just. just... <laughs> oh my god! I see a kid, people, or whoever doing it all the time. It makes me like I bite my lip. Just like, Grr. don't grab it by the stem. You find a pumpkin with a good stem, and you break it. Okay, so. What are you thinking, guys? I think I'm just going to go should we do a scary face. Uh, oh, just sorry, guys. I was looking at my microphone. Oh, let click this off. There we go. References are... Let's see. I got to... Uh, I always like to do a nice angry face or like a cool face. Let's do. Oh, let's do this on another layer, guys. Here, so I'm gonna do this. I'll show you another trick, you guys. Uh, just put another layer on top of this one on your pumpkin, and then we can draw the face. That way, we don't have to interfere with the lines. And then you just erase the lines when you're done. So just to see what you know, what kind of. Let's just start and see how this works, guys. Like a little, like a scary, spooky face. Uh, 
Oh. All right, let's see. I'll tell you guys, I love Halloween. Best holiday ever. All right. No. Let's give him a little. Yeah, I'm gonna give him a little. I like this mouth. It's kind of a little cricket mouth. I'm not sure. Oh. I'm combining this face. All right, guys. I'm kind of like I've been switching back and forth from. I usually use. Um, I don't want to use Photoshop because it's just too much to go around. You know, if you guys are ever using Photoshop, it's it's really for when I'm doing serious work. You know, not too straight. I'll do get a few of the check your teeth in. Uh, triangle. Just because I, I don't want this, I want this to be a little bit more. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that looks pretty. Let's see, let's see. go back to here. This layer, and then we'll just erase. Voila! See that. And then you little trick guys, I mean only an idiot like me would figure that out, right? Okay, you can just do another little let's stick this fix. Let's fix up this pumpkin and then it'll start to get the little scene. So and... oh. I just got through horror nights guys this week for um Wave through night, and it's definitely already started right now. Halloween is officially here. I'm glad, guys. I was so sick of summer. No, actually, I had a good summer. I take that back. I got to see some family and go to the beach and things like that. I didn't get too badly sunburned, but no. Actually, we could just combine this. I'm gonna start shining this guy up a bit, but like I want you to uh, like take note of these guys. Uh, this guy's uh, that I'm gonna be doing. This is a comic book version of a pumpkin, so we're gonna be doing a lot of cross hatching things like that. And I'll show you. Yes. Oh. Well, I need a sip of my coffee. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good energy, good energy. I should have it in a vote. Which good which is your favorite pumpkin spice? Uh I had the Starbucks guys, but I swear to god, I, I cannot get in the, these damn orders right. I pardon my language. But like I went to go so I got I finally got my coffee when we went to Horror Nights. I was so excited. And all my friends were like, You should have gotten it blended. I was like, ah. You know, but I'm an idiot when it comes to like ordering that stuff, guys. I don't know, Paul, Vente, whatever. My friend, she had to help me. Thank you, Arian. But she even she forgot to like ask for it blended, so. Because it's like my first last year, I didn't really get My friend was like all bragging about pumpkin spice latte. I didn't really care. I, I only like pumpkin spice because it reminds me of like, you know, old days, you know. Following the decorations and things like that, my mom used to do. And then, like, I had the pumpkin spice. I've been drinking that as soon as it started this year, and I'm like, okay, now I'm hooked. Now I understand the big hype. So just touch this guy up. Once you get your draw, your basic drawing in, then I want you guys to focus on the draw, on the uh, the carving itself. So I'm I'm trying to get the the lines in, and then I want you to because remember this is a carved pumpkin. So remember. We're dealing with a shape. Even in the mouth, things like that, we'll still have, you know. Because when you carve a pumpkin, you know, you have all these, uh, the thickness of it, the thickness of a pumpkin. It's a very thick vegetable. So, you know, depending on the angle. So let's see the angle. From this angle, you're going to be able to see the bottom of you. So just, just draw on these. They, they can do just kind of random, especially with teeth like this. But make sure, like, you see, like, these extra... See? 
makes the it, it creates a little shape in the pumpkin so it's not so flat. Let's see. Gonna pick this up. Then I'll get the apartment. I feel like it's in. No biggie. Just kind of gives shape and the angle of the uh, pumpkin, kind of which direction. Nice, nice. Oh, we ain't done yet, guys. Wait till you see. It's gonna look dope. Let's get get the whole. Let's start drawing the. We can start on the details now. Details, details. And just remember, guys, it's all about pressure. So, pressure, more pressure. A little bit more texture. Some cross action, just wherever you feel like it's going to be. It's up to you guys, remember. Your world. Like Mr. The Legend Rob Ross says, it's your world, you're the creator. I'm feeling that the end of here. Remember, guys, this is something you can do ink wise. That's why I try to do this. I do this so I can record. You can do this same exact thing with a good old fashioned ink brush. Now, there's no, no discrimination in that. Oh, it's, I'm going to start adding in, you know, like this guy. So, like, remember, there's probably a candle in here, so we're going to add a little bit of, like, uh, the light. Bear with me on this, guy. So, we're going to add a little bit of shading in here, so we know that there's, like, there's some darkness in the pumpkin. And you want to add some cross hatching, indicate that there's light. Leave a little bit of white. That's what we're looking for, guys. The light indicates the light, basically. And the darkness, the cross-hatching, is basically where the light is. So. I don't really want to reset. I'm going to make a little bit of a I want to break up those lines a little. Remember, go in, you press lightly, and then push. Create these lines, these lines, these sharp lines. Because the candle is going to be around here, so most, most likely, but it's not going to be a bright candle. But we're just doing this because it add. We're not doing this in color, guys. So, those of you who are hoping for color, I'm not doing color just yet. See, the thing is, like, you guys, I want you to understand how to do this black and white because you don't need to know color theory. That's just too much for me to explain, guys. And, I mean, I'll, I'll eventually get to it, and I'll, you know, I'll show you color theory and all that, but you have to master these first before you can master color. If you can't handle, you know, two colors, white and black, how are you going to handle, you know, 16 or 24? You know? So, then you can have a little bit of shadow... Now, and then just to finish up, just do some crosshead. Just to add, to indicate that there's light and depth in this pumpkin, because that's what we're going for. A little bit. Just let it go. Just get to the edge. Just... This is where the light's coming from, guys, down here. So, yeah, sorry, just make sure my mic is still on. I have to keep watching, guys.
I just probably it. I was trying to beat my record to see if I can do a video that's not as long, but I appreciate you guys who watched the whole videos. Even if you skip through it, guys, don't worry. I'm okay with it. I know my video is kind of long, and I've yet to master editing and take out stuff, but I feel like, you know, everything I say, but I film these straight up, guys. There's no, like, editing, so to speak, other than just making sure, you know, that it sounds good and all that. But I really don't do much, you know, editing-wise, just because, you know, it's, I want this to be just raw, you know, guys. I just want this to be me, you know. I mean, I'm not scripted this either, guys. I mean, I have, you know, what I, you know, a few things that I have in mind I would say, and I have a few things what I'm going to draw. I'm already set up, but, you know, really this is just like, these drawings I do, they're just like, they're all small, spontaneous. That, that's how I feel like you guys get a better uh, mojo. A few shadows. So you can add shadows wherever you want, guys. The pumpkin. This is a spherical, just, you know, Keep it on the on the edges, you know, to create bumps and stuff. On a pumpkin, because a pumpkin is not just it's a, it's a you know it's a mini shape kind of thing. We'll add some shafts down here to around. But you don't want it where it's gonna it's gonna take away the shape. When we draw the grass and everything, I don't want it to. Add little dots and lines and stuff to kind of break things up. But you can always leave them, guys, because remember, this is a vegetable that's... Pumpkin's a vegetable. <laughs> Why is it so sweet? Explain that, Jason. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll shadow on the It's okay if you guys, uh, if you had a little, things are kind of like crossing, uh, crossing each other, the details that you already put out, that's okay. That's what we want, guys. We want it to be spontaneous, we want it to be messy, you know, it gets you out of your comfort zone. Oh, my. Okay. Not too bad. You don't want to over-ink it, too, guys. That little... A little, you know, a little detail. Pumpkin. Not perfect. It's the vegetable. It's grown in nature. Wow. I don't know what I'm planning for Halloween, guys. Uh, I wanted to dress as the Joker, bank robbery Joker. I think it'd be a cool costume. All I would need was the mask. I have an airsoft version of his pistol that he used, the Glock. I might try that. The bank robber Joker from the Dark Knight. I think. That's... But yeah, if you guys want to leave in the comments what you're going to be dressing up as this year, going somewhere, let me know. Love to hear. Get some shadows on it. Oh, that's cool. And just go the other way, guys. That's all cross hatching is. You, know, you can go in one direction if you feel like that's enough, but I like to have these little. So let's start. Pumpkin. Here. By the way, it doesn't matter the layers on top, guys, because everything's going to be in black and white anyway, so there's no need to, like, you know. If you're drawing something far away, it doesn't have to be down here. But, you know, if you want to get in that habit, that's okay. But let's get some grass going. Yeah. Real simple, guys. Don't worry about it. Remember, light on top, and... More. Basically, we're just cross-hatching. 
kind of creating like a hay or something like that. Because remember, the grass here is that the pumpkin's laying on. It's gonna be it's gonna be dented basically, or you know, it's it's laying on the one that that's against. There we go. Get some bushes coming out of there. Now, nice. Remember, this is outside. It's nature. Sort of. If you want to keep it separate from the grass, that's separate. Just go. Just remember, straight lines. Th think of it like horizontal lines go this way, and then the, the ground is is just straight, like that. Bunch them together. Oh, we're not done, guys. You think we're done? Hell no. You've only just begun. I'll come back to that later. Um, this one you guys can name the. I don't guess you can name these, but I'm not gonna bother right now, dude. Dude, sorry, guys. <laughs> that was safe. Let's see, I got a picture of a house here. I'm gonna draw. So let's get this house in. Bear with me, guys. So. House uh, is gonna follow the same rules of perspective, guys. So I'm gonna draw the house like this. Actually, let me get the. If you guys, I always recommend using a ruler in real life, but this, you know, this is a digital one, so. Nope, no. Ah, just use. So. This is how I'm gonna do my house, guys. So we're gonna do uh, a simple perspective. I want to keep it. I'll go over perspective later, but this is all I'm doing with the house. The way we do perspective is from the angle from what I'm doing. Everything will converge to these lines. I'm drawing a house, just basically drawing like a top cube. It's kind of hard to explain right now, but think of this as a cube. Everything is a cube because I'm just drawing a building. This is just basic 101. So this is how I start out with, and then this is everything converged to this shape. So, and house is going to be this level, so. Ah, snap, I just darn it. Oh, I messed up, guys. See what I mean? This is this is the kind of mistakes, but it's okay. We'll... I did this on all layer, but I could always just use a glass one too. So here's my house. Actually, this works out because I'm going to draw the grass. So here, here's how I'm going to draw the grass on the far away side, guys. So when you're drawing things in the background, grass right here. Oh, uh, let's just start here. When you're drawing things in the background, guys. Um, actually, you know what? Let me. Let's make another layer. Okay. Let's duplicate this layer. Okay, and then I'll just I'll just get rid of the grass. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so the house is here. There we go. Okay, we're good. Any user. I'm gonna make another layer anyway, and I was kind of stupid, but. the hell oh i forgot to erase this i set the erase on this Oop. sorry guys i have to turn my pen around you know what? i'll just there you go let's see we're gonna do the grass far away so for this, uh, nothing fancy. Um, let's see. I want to go with some. I like the way this was. I'm gonna do some. Little bushes far away. Nothing. Just kind of establish the angle. I create a little distance because remember these trees and bushes you can't really see. I'm 
want to put the house on top of that. So. It is. You guys are going to like this. A little thicker lines. Some shadows. Because it's supposed to be at night, so. Going as fast as I can, guys. Bear with me. Let's yeah, establish some planes. It's a little thicker line. That's all. Okay. See, guys, a simple, basic sheet. So if you're painting along with me, if you're drawing along with me, if you're on your computer along, uh, with me, just remember, guys, simple, keep it simple. Don't overdo it. No. Get our house in. Yeah, oh. Yeah, let's bring back my ruler. I am the ruler. Let's see, this house has another. perspective you just have to kind of follow these lines that you've drawn so let's say you're drawing a house right here everything converges to the middle because this is the the perspective the, the angle that you've chosen to see the house so, and i'll do another video on perspective later when i get this in now it's done but the short lesson is that everything you start with the middle line and then everything converges to this top line just think of it as a shape as a this is just another uh, that's what I'm saying guys, like it's all about the shapes. See how this roof converges to this? Everything horizontal converges because it's at an angle. And then everything straight down to straight down. And it take trust me, it takes a little tricky guys, plus you have to use the ruler a lot, so. Uh, there we go. Otherwise it's not gonna look right. Same thing with the windows. Everything converges. I'll move this up. Yep. I'll draw a little bit more. I'm just trying to get the basic shape in the house in, so once I get that, then I'll fix it. A creepy house. Oh, 
draw a few windows. I'm going to draw this. I like this a lot. I'm going to draw a little bit of a porch. Yeah, I don't like this. I'm gonna add this one in. Just trying to get this house in. You. We're kind of, kind of combining these houses right now. Should draw the other one. I like this one better, but size cost. The house is far away, so you don't have to put too many details on the house anyway. But uh, See how I'm angling these uh, lines because everything's converging up, guys. So. Thin lines. But I implore you to do this with the ruler, guys. I'm just kind of kind of spitballing this, so. Give me a headache. Huh. I'm gonna add in this. Okay, we can add shadows. That'll cover that up. Not exactly how I wanted it, but just can't always get. And I'll quit. I won't quit my day job. <laughs> yeah, I implore you always. Uh, when I go over perspective, guys, I implore you to always always do this with a ruler. Always. When you're going, I know it's tedious. If you're doing this right now and you're following my steps, just you no. Know, Stick with it. It will not look right, I promise you, if you don't do it straight. I'm gonna add it. It's just basic shapes. The higher you go, the more you're looking up at something. I like the way this house looks. Nice and haunting. Spooky. You guys ever go into a house like this? I wouldn't. I'm not crazy. Hey, what's with the no? We're just going to leave a little bit of white for the show. Always, you know, you can fill in, but I always leave some, some dark. Remember, guys, dark and light, they have to balance each other out. See how the window converges to these lines, guys? I'm just going to draw on. Door you.
Try to cover up as much shadow as you can. I don't think. Don't you know I'm filming here? What's wrong with you people? A nice little fancy one. They're all going to die down here. Name that movie again. And we're just going to add some dark shadows to kind of converge the, uh, the house to these plants right here. So it'll get a little mixed and a little messy, guys, but it's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't sweat it. Windows. Windows. Just go gentle. I'm still kidding. Get these a little more lines. And if you ever need to, guys, just switch to white. There's another trick I'll show you, but and just fix it up, touch it up. There you go. See that? Oh, that's not. The little trick I'll be showing you. Okay. Add a few more shadows. Remember, there's this is supposed to be at night, but indication of the door. Too dark to see. Always find the right balance of shadows, guys, because you don't want to overdo it. Never overdo it. You don't feel you don't feel like it needs it, then don't bother. But it's still your world, so you figure it out. Not that you figure it out, but I mean, you go with your gut on that. You know, if you feel like it needs more shadow, a little more shadow. Remember, there's, there's no, the problem with, with art, guys, is one thing, I always thought there was like a right and wrong way, there's always, no. You know, sometimes, just, you know, it's, it's just your way of doing things. You know, no, not everyone's going to be the greatest artist ever, dude. But that doesn't mean you don't, you don't try. <laughs> so. Got our house in. Nope. The house doesn't need a whole lot of details. If you want to go for it, go for it. I like to add a little bit more detail. Go. Let's add in some more vegetation. Oh, you guys are going to like this. Woo. Want to all you tree fanatics, get ready. Let's just add some. I'm going to add some, some grass to. And add some depth to it. Depth. Oh, I have my coffee. So good.
Send some lines, just kind of establish some distance. You know, I know it's kind of black over here, guys, but most of the time when you're, th when you're thinking distance, everything gets smaller far away. And I know it's kind of, you know, that's pretty obvious, but... But it's actually, a, a, believe it or not, it's a trick we all, all, we artists use. There's a few things called like atmospheric perspective. That's when you use white. Like let's say you're drawing a sunny day, you'll use white in the background, you know, to, to establish, you know, to, to create some distance. It makes everything lighter. Because everything in the distance, you have to remember, you, you got to observe nature a little and see how the sun affects, even lack of sun, even on a cloudy day or something, see how the sun um affects everything during the day or at, you know obviously not at night but even the moonlight you know if there's moonlight or if there's street lights you got to see how they all can you know let me just pockets of grass Yeah. That looks too comical. Yeah, we don't really need anything right here. Check this out, guys. Ooh, you're gonna like. We got our tree. Let's start adding our little scary tree. <laughs> Not like Rob Ross. Like he used to say, our happy trees. I'm saying our scary tree. Just remember, pressure, light, flat at the end, harder at the end. Create our branches. You just scary trees, so they don't need a whole lot of, you know, leaves again. Maybe there's some birds, I don't know. Part of that, right? Pressure. Keep it wiggling, keep it loose. These are branches, they're not perfect. And then just add a little few more light ones on top. I know, isn't that cool? Okay, let's see. I thought we could just add in some vines and things like that. Kind of fill in the bottom a little. House. Uh, around the house kind of don't be afraid to get too close to the house guys it's not a big deal i think you do these straight ones again I'd say the straight ones for distance, guys. Like, you add, add the curly trees, and then add these straight ones in the back to kind of give a little more distance. I think that makes more sense. I think the more trees... Because when they're straight like this, it looks like they're more far away than the ones that are... Because the ones that are curly, if you can see them, like, curling up, that means they're close. But far away, that'd be more of a straight, you know, forest. Not too bad. And this is where the creme de la creme. Let's. I'm gonna get our moon. Let's get our moon in, and I think I'm gonna wrap this up. Get our moon. Draw a little bit.
You're gonna like this, guys. Trust me. Watch this. So. We're gonna get some some darkness in here, so just like what we did with my great my great white. I want you to start just you know you don't have to do this guys. I'm gonna you know kind of go the extra mile here. So get as much black as you can at the top, and you can do this with the wash. Remember, it's on a separate layer. You can always you know stop it here, guys. Just draw your moon in, and then you're good to go. I'm going to show you a little trick, so same principle as the eyes. So we're going to go to the moon, since the moon lights here. And we're going to kind of stay away from anything that's, that's dark, guys. Try to get as close as you can, but just leave a little bit of white, and it's okay. No, it's not a big deal. We're not going like... We're just kind of keeping the lines. That's where the moonlight shows up anyway. So you're actually kind of good. You don't have to go full on. This is just for fun. But I want to show you a little trick you guys can use for anything when you're inking. So really focus on using the, the black and white. Uh, aspect especially if you're doing like a comic book or a cartoon just like this guys because you really have to you know know the difference in it. when i say know the difference i mean when to use it so to speak. you don't have to do this most likely you know if you want to establish a night scene or something like that Doesn't have to be perfect. Just get some lines to indicate that you know, just, just you're coming lower, less less black. Oh, that's it. Going a little deep. It still establishes a night scene. Because this could be the moonlight. Like even though this is a scene at night, guys, there could be fog and things like this lighting this up. So you don't have to worry about that. Or it could be raining. Now, fog creates light in itself, and so does the moonlight. No. I'm going to converge around the moon. I want to show you guys neat little maybe too much going on, but like I said, it creates a little bit of like lightness to the drawing, you know, especially since I'm not coloring it. So what I'm gonna do another layer, so I'm gonna switch back to the white, and just like we did before, guys. You can use white. As an eraser, you can actually use an eraser if you want, but I prefer this. So let's get our, get some cloud. Little tricks do. And we'll switch back, black, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. When I add this in, bingo. Look at that. A little cloud covering the moon. There you go. Got yeah, 50 minutes. Well, as always, just get to the end. Hmm. Well, now let's create some glow. Add some little more tick marks you can do in the opposite way. More glow. 
Oh, and don't worry if you can't always see all the way. I mean, you can always just add more dark. Just add these little tick marks from this a little bit. And there we go, guys. I'm gonna wrap this one up. Signature on here. First ladder. There you go, guys. Good way to kick off spooky season. So, and there's our spooky drawing to kick off this next hollow this uh, this year's Halloween. So, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know I did, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video, and. Uh, Stay tuned for more episodes to come, so happy Halloween, everyone.